The investigation into that huge oil and gas well explosion in Windsor is still on tonight. As you can see, surveillance cameras caught the fireball shooting into the air. Saturday's explosion is just the latest accident at a Colorado oil and gas site just this year. Denver 7's Mike Iliopoulos has been digging into many of those cases and joins us now with more. Mike, what have you been able to learn? Well, Mark, we should say first the worker injured in Saturday's explosion is still recovering tonight, but there have been 23 accidents at oil and gas sites across the state. Our partners at the Denver Post report two workers have died and seven others have been injured in what investigators call workplace accidents. This is the latest incident that happened in Weld County. An explosion at the extraction oil and gas site injured one worker. Tonight, the cause is under investigation. 23 accidents have happened at oil and gas sites this year across the state. Now, some of those were caused by lightning or unique circumstances. And from 2006 to 2015, 13 fires and explosions at oil and gas sites have happened every year. That's according to a study by the Colorado School of Public Health. But many people have been calling for more regulation on flow lines since the deadly house explosion in Firestone in May. An abandoned flow line caused it. Gas was leaking out. What happened at Firestone we've never seen before. We are spending millions of dollars to do everything we can to make sure it never happens again. Oil and gas drilling has always been a risky business. However, many companies are looking to expand their drilling footprint. Several Colorado counties report the highest number of new wells in 2017 since the Great Recession and with little expectation of a slowdown in 2018. But Governor John Hickenlooper is making sure nothing gets overlooked. We're talking tens of millions, hundreds of millions of dollars are going to be spent and the system is going to be changed. Tonight, the Colorado Oil and Gas Association is promising to go into the new year with change. The president of the organization tells us in a statement saying, quote, we're about to embark on another tough rulemaking in two weeks' time with the Colorado Oil and Gas Conservation Commission to strengthen the state's flow line oversight authority. Our industry is constantly striving to be safer and cleaner, and Colorado's nation-leading regulations are ensuring that is the case. In Denver, Mike Iliopoulos, Denver 7. We know oil and gas drilling is big in our state, and new numbers tonight show it's picking up speed on the western slope. The Daily Sentinel reports that drilling has begun on 113 wells so far this year alone in Mesa County. That's the most since 2008. Drilling in Mesa and Garfield counties now ranks second and third in the state for drilling activity. Weld County is not far behind.